and welcome back to Western New York Living. When it comes to staying healthy, you have to focus on your overall body, not just certain parts. This includes your digestive system as well. Joining us this morning from General Physician PC is Dr. Ahmad Kadim, who specializes in gastroenterology. Thanks for joining us, doctor. Thanks for having me. Now, Dr. Kadim, a lot of people maybe don't focus on their digestive health until there's a problem. Now, what is a gastroenterologist and specifically what parts of the body do you look at? A gastroenterologist is a medical expert who is a fellowship trained physician specializing in the gastrointestinal system. So we treat slew of conditions from acid reflux to abdominal pain to inflammatory bowel disease to cancer to liver and pancreas disorders. Doctor, what are, the, uh, what are some of the most common digestive disorders that you see in patients? The most common disorders that we see uh, include gastroesophageal reflux disease, um, heartburn, um, dyspepsia and abdominal discomfort, also other conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, and liver disorders. How are these diagnosed and more importantly, how are they treated and can they be prevented or reversed? Tell me more. Yeah, so um, typically we interview the patient, we listen to the history, listen to the system, and this is followed by diagnostic examinations and procedures. Um, and then we, we, have a, we have a plan of uh, either medication versus dietary prevention uh, versus a procedure, depending on the condition that they have. Now, the month of March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and I know that you want to stress the importance for people to get a colonoscopy when they meet the standards to do so, right? What are those standards? Absolutely. So, you know, colon cancer is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, the third most common cancer um, in North America, and it's something that can be prevented by doing your screening colonoscopies. So um, the um, screening age was at 50. However, the USPSTF, which is the United States Preventative Task Force, has decreased the requirement to age 45. Um, so, you know, if, if you're at that age, even if you don't have any symptoms, you should start the screening process. And... Tell me, people who are most at risk for colon cancer, who are these people and when should I see a GI doctor? So um, the, obviously the general population does have some risk of developing colon cancer, but individuals with enhanced risks are those who have family history of colorectal cancer, um, those who have family history of genetic disorders or um, history in their family uh, of colonic polyps in the past. Now, doctor, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you or the other physicians at General Physician PC? You know, they can contact our office directly. Um, our phone lines are working, and they can also have a referral through their primary care provider, and we'll be happy to see them and assist them. Dr. Kadim, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Dr. Kadim is part of the specialized gastroenterology team at General Physician PC. They focus on safeguarding the health of your digestive tract and your organs. To find out more about all the medical services they provide, head to their website at gppconline.com. Now there you'll also find information about scheduling a colonoscopy if you need one. Now don't go anywhere because coming up in the second half hour, we'll learn more information about the 50 Fabulous Women Giving Circle. They're an all-volunteer giving circle helping to improve the lives of women and children in our community. And we'll be talking about them when Western New York Living comes back. This segment of Western New York Living was sponsored by the following.